Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Welcome to the Daily Difference Devotion. We are going to discuss the Word of God. We will be encouraged by the Word of God, and hopefully you will be able to walk even more uprightly before the Lord as He works within you as you represent Jesus Christ in this world today. So, be encouraged, my friends, as we talk about the Word of God in today's Daily Difference Devotion. Thank you, and God bless, my beloved. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. This is Difference Maker, real name Karsten Miller, coming to you live from the Dallas Cowboy Studio slash office. Keeping the priority a true priority, this will be our <coughs> daily difference encouragement. Keeping the priority the true priority. See, today we live in a tyranny and a a world that you know, we can be urged in the wrong direction and we have to keep the Word of God as our true priority. Turn with me to Luke chapter 10 verses 38 through 42. Luke chapter 10 verses 38 through 42 and let's be encouraged by the Word of God. Now, as they went on their way, Jesus entered a village, and a woman named Martha welcomed him into her house. And she had a sister called Mary, who sat at the Lord's feet and listened to his teaching. But Martha as was distracted with much serving. And she went up to him and said, Lord, do you not care that my sister has left me to serve alone? Tell her then to help me. But the Lord answered her, Martha, Martha, you were anxious and troubled by many things, but one thing is necessary. Mary has chosen the good portion, which will not be taken away from her. Mary chose the good portion. Jesus is here in the house of Mary and Martha and their brother Lazarus. And um, there's Martha and she's getting and doing all of these things. Things which were not wrong. But it was necessary that she make the word of God, Jesus Christ, her priority. As a Christian, that's what your priority needs to be. You need to be focused on God's word. You are not here to make money. Don't believe those lies. You're not here to to get your business going. That is not why you're here. You're here to glorify Jesus Christ. And don't give me, get no excuse. Well, I'm glorifying him through my business. That's a lie. You glorify him in your business when you preach the gospel. Not preach how God going to bless you with more money and bless you with more riches. That is a lie. No, we need to make the priority the word of God. Do you see any of the apostles in the word of God? Studying and learning and preaching the gospel in order to make money? No, you don't. Why? Because they made God's word that the priority if you go to Psalm 119 in verse 9 it says how can a young man keep his way pure by keeping it according to your word how can he keep his way pure by keeping 
Shamer, I think the uh, Hebrew word is. Shamer. And it means to guard, to keep. He guarded his way by the word of God, by keeping it. Staying in the word. If you go a little further and it starts out, How blessed are those whose way is blameless, who walk in the what? Law of the Lord. How blessed are those, in verse 2, who observe his testimonies, who seek him with all their heart. They also do no unrighteousness. They walk in his ways. You have ordained your precepts that we should keep them diligently. There you go. That's the priority. He just told you, I brought my word here so you could keep it. There's nothing in there about business. Make the priority Jesus Christ. Do as Mary and sit and hear the word of God. And when I say hear the word of God, I'm speaking of the Bible. I'm not talking go in your prayer closet and look to speak in some tongues. Or, oh, I got to hear the audible voice of God. No, you want to hear the voice of God, go to the Bible. Because that's where you're going to hear it. You open yourself up to hearing other things when you don't go to the Word. Luke 11, verse 28. Starting in verse 27. Let's go there. Luke 11, verse 27. It says, As he said these things, a woman in the crowd raised her voice and said to him, Blessed is the womb that bore you and the breast at which you nursed. But he said, Blessed rather are those who hear the word of God and keep it. Your life will be blessed when you keep the word of God, making it the true priority. Jesus said in Matthew 4, verse 4, when being tempted, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of the Lord. Look at Deuteronomy chapter 8, verse 3. That's where Jesus quoted what I just said from Matthew 4. Deuteronomy 8 verse 3. Listen to what the word of God says. And there it shows you. I just repeated it for you in the New Testament. Here's the Old Testament saying the same thing. And he humbled you and let you hunger and fed you with manna which you did not know nor did your fathers know that he might make you know that a man does not live by bread alone but man lives by every word that comes from the mouth of the Lord. Jesus was correctly in, um, giving you hermeneutics and how to apply the word of God to your life in his temptation. Colossians 3.16 Colossians 3.16 Go there. What does it say? Let the what? Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly, teaching and admonishing one another in all wisdom, singing psalms and hymns and spiritual songs with thankfulness in your heart to God. Let the word of Christ, the Bible, let it dwell in you richly. Let it lead you. Let it guide you. Let it steer you on the right path. That's what God wants to do. How can we make it without the Word of God? We can't. We cannot make it without His Word. In the Gospel of John, it says in verse uh, chapter 7, verse 46, in the officials answered and said, answered, no one ever spoke like this man. And they were talking about Jesus. Why? Because nobody, nothing speaks like the word of God. Nothing speaks like the word of God. 
in, in John 8 verse 2 it talks about how the people and you see daily how they came early in the morning um, he came again to the temple and all the people came to him and he sat down and taught them what did he teach them the word of God this is Jesus teaching his word because it's the priority it is the priority that is my the daily difference encouragement today make the word of God your priority walk in the ways of the Lord keep his law and his word in your hearts and be blessed by that that it will keep you it will guide you it will lead you into all those things that are righteous I'll just end off with verse um, 14 of Psalm 119 I have rejoiced in the way of your testimonies as much as in all riches I will meditate on your precepts and when you guard your ways I shall delight in your statutes I shall not forget thy word deal bountifully with your servant that I may live and keep your word open my eyes that I may behold the wonderful things from your law I am a stranger in the earth do not hide your commandments from me. Think about that. Think about what is the priority. Ask yourself this question. What plan do you have for reading, pondering, meditating, and concentrating on the Word of God each day in your life? And make sure you do that. This has been Difference Maker saying to you, God bless my beloved. Well, thank you for listening to today's Daily Difference Devotion. I hope you were encouraged by the Word of God. Remember to always Study the Word of God after it has been presented to you. This has been a production of DifferenceMakerBibleStudy.org. I am your host, Karsten Miller, a.k.a. Difference Maker. Um, you can catch me at my website, www.DifferenceMakerBibleStudy.org. That's www dot difference maker bible study dot o r g and if you are looking for a wonderful place to worship the lord how about coming out to hope bible church that's hope bible church www dot hope bible church dot org this has been another production of difference maker bible study dot org god bless